हेलो गाइस टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट आर ए पी डी मीन्स रैंडमली एम्पलीफाइड पोलीमोर्फिक डी एन ए सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट्स मूव टू दी वीडियो वट इज आर ए पी डी और रैंडमली एम्पलीफाइड पोलीमोर्फिक डी एन ए सो आर ए पी डी दीज आर जस्ट सिंपली पी सी आर रिएक्शन इन विच वी आर जस्ट एम्पलीफाइंग द अनोन डी एन ए सिक्वेंस मीन्स वी आर एम्पलीफाइंग द डी एन ए सिक्वेंस बाई यूजिंग रैंडम प्राइमर्स we do not know exact sequence of a dna fragment which we are amplifying we are just taking the random primers and after the pcr reactions we are getting the product which are randomly amplified so that's why named randomly amplified polymorphic dna and we use short oligonucleotide primers with random sequence and ultimately this is the dominant marker which was discovered in 19 90 now let's discuss the principle of rapd so what exactly rapd is that here we amplify the two dna sample by using random primers these primers they they are you can say they have a known sequences and when they applied to the dna sample so the dna will be amplified in the random fashion which we can conclude that if the genome of two species are subjected to this rapd so after the rapd we will get a different amplified pattern because we used these random primers and in the one species there will be a different amplified pattern while in another species there will be the different amplified pattern because the primer used they were random and it is very rare that these random primer will bind to same positions in the two species because each species has different dna sequence due to which these primer will definitely bind at the different position in the different dna sample so due to the different binding of these random primers we also get the different pattern of the amplified product so by this or by comparing the rapd pattern of two dna samples we can say or we can identify a particular sample so that's why this technique also act as a molecular marker now how we perform this rapd so for this we just perform pcr by using random primers like for example here we take a dna from sample a and we perform the pcr that is polymerase chain a reaction with random primers which result in the random amplification of this dna sample similarly we take the dna sample that is another dna sample sample b and we also perform the pcr with random primers and we get the different products now after the pcr we perform the electrophoresis or agrose gel electrophoresis of these two dna fragments or the dna fragments of these two samples now after the pc after this electrophoresis we will get the different bands correspond to the dna bands and in case of the sample a and b the rapd pattern will be different because the primer they were used randomly and the sample a and sample b they have different dna molecules the sequence of dna molecule of both these that sample a and b was different that's why the primer will bind at the different position in both of these samples that's why we get the different rapd pattern so by this we can compare pair or identify a particular species by analyzing its rapd pattern so this is all about that is how we perform this rapd technique now what are the advantages of this rapd so first advantage is that in this technique we are not using any kind of radioactive element so if there is no radioactive element involved so there is no risk of radiations and there is no risk of radiation link side effects or radiation link diseases second advantage of this that in this technique we can perform dna amplification randomly there is no need or there is no prior information on the dna sequences needed to perform this rapd the next is that it use universal primer 
so it can work with any genome because we do not have to design specific primer for a specific genome we can use universal primers that can be used with any kind of genome next that in this technique very small amount of genomic dna is required because we are using polymerase chain reaction which ultimately amplify the dna so there is no need the uh, no, there is no need of large amount of dna it can be done with a small amount of dna sample and the next advantage is that it is very simple technique there is no need of expensive equipment is there we can generally perform this technique by using polymerase chain reaction machine or thermal cycler so this is you can say it is also uh, less costly or it is not very much expensive technique so these are the some advantages of this rapd technique so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much